Mm, hello there. I'm just filming a, a European garden spider here. Out here in my garden. Mm. Uh, and, well, on first inspection, mm, this spider looks like it's standing in midair. Mm. Uh, but it's not, in case you're wondering. It is on a, a web. Though I don't know if you'll be able to see because it's quite invisible, the web is. Mm, though you might see a few strands. Mm, but again, it is quite hard to see. Now, now, the European garden spider is one of the most common species of spider found here in the UK. And as its name implies, yes, it is found in many other different countries in Europe as well. And this species has also been introduced into North America. Yeah. And they've become well established there. Hmm. And now this is a, a female European garden spider, just in case you're wondering. Well, now the reason that I know that is well, mainly because of its size, because as you probably know, female spiders are much larger than the males. Uh, but also, uh, female European garden spiders have shorter legs than the males. Uh, so that's another reason why I know this is a, a female European garden spider. Uh, and as you can see, it is a brightly coloured yellow with some brown markings, especially around its legs. And in fact, the European garden spider can come in a different variety of colours sometimes. And newly ha hatched spiders are bright yellow, with a, a brown spot on their abdomen. Although they do change colour once they start maturing, of course, into adults. Hmm. Uh, now, as I said, well, the European garden spider is, yes, found in gardens, though they can adapt into other habitats as well, including fields, woodlands, and even urban areas. So they are quite adaptable animals, European garden spiders are. Uh, and now, uh, during the mating season, uh, Males uh, go around constantly looking for females to mate with, though at this time the male needs to be careful, because otherwise he may become, <laughs> well, dinner to the female. <laughs> However, once a male has successfully mated with a, a female European garden spider, he'll retreat and, and the female will isolate herself. Well, and after a number of days, the female lays her eggs in a, a silk cocoon, and after that she, well, dies. Mm, yeah, well, it may sound pretty harsh, but that's nature's way, unfortunately. Yeah, and this, the young spiders hatch in the following spring, and the, after that they go their separate ways the young spiders do, looking for their own homes. Well, it looks like this European spider is starting to move a bit now. Well, I think I'll leave it alone anyway now. Well, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.